Remember, we've been talking about the artist Vincent van Gogh and we've been studying his painting, The Sunflowers. You need your drawing from last week of the vase of the sunflowers. Take a look at these close-ups of Van Gogh's flowers. Notice the colors, but also notice the shapes and the textures. You're still gonna need just a pencil today. You need to add ovals and circles of pretty good size above your vase. Space them out. Don't draw teeny tiny ovals or circles. Draw them pretty big. You're going to need about six or seven of them. The ovals turn into a side view of a sunflower. So at first I'm gonna put a few little bitty triangles inside of the oval and then add some leaves at the top and bottom. The leaves on the outside should not be very long and then the leaves that will be on the left side of it will be a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna do a big sunflower in the very middle. I want you to look at the shape of the petals. They are more narrow, then they get wider, and then they get really narrow as they go out. So for this one, I'm leaving just a little bit of space in between them because I'm gonna add some in the back side of it too. If it looks like it's going to be overlapped by another flower, I cut them short a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put in a little bit of texture in the middle and I'm gonna add like a V shape to fill in the rest of the sunflower gaps. I'm going to do this sunflower in a little bit different of a style. I'm putting kind of a bumpy circle inside of the circle. Then I'm gonna put tinier uh, sunflower petals all the way around. And then I'm gonna go completely around the outside edge with another little fluffy, bumpy line. This sunflower is overlapped by the one above it. So that means that once I get to where that other one is, I stop. I'm just gonna put in a few bumpy, curvy lines all the way around it and stop at the big sunflower. Here's another sideways one. So this sideways one on the left side of my painting is very much overlapped by that big middle sunflower. So I'm just going to kind of tuck in my big petals right behind it. And the petals that are on the farthest side are going to be shorter. If you remember, I said we would cover up the top of the vase. So down at the bottom, add two circles where you want flowers to be. Then go to those two circles and turn them into sunflowers. If you overlap something and you will want to go back and erase the line out that you have overlapped. Finish up the last of your sunflowers and don't forget to go back and erase out any lines that you don't need or you have overlapped.
There may be a place where you need to add some stems, just don't make them huge. Keep this picture for next time.